Hello there, guys, girls, gamers, everyone. It's me, Genuine Parts. We are back in If My Heart Had Wings. And. Well, we have uh, just discussed the teacher. And. Um, a man's involvement in a robot club. And. <clears throat> what happened back then when she fumbled the press of the very important button? And. I think now we were going to shed some light on the issue. Uh, so let's jump right in. His spirit was crushed. Why? Which hints that there was something nefarious going on. So you mean Mr. Tobioka uh, blamed a man for it? Agia made a serious face. Agia made a serious face and nodded. That's ridiculous. But I can't really say that. Oh! My last school was good when it came to sports. There was a sports scholarship program and it was important for the school to get results in tournaments. The advisors and directors of each club are evaluated accordingly and at times it might be the turning point in their lives. The robot club is the most popular club in the school and its performance is directly linked to the promotion of the school. Even if the even but then let me restart that sentence. Even if Mr. Tobioka blamed a man, uh, can't exactly say that it's strange. Are you okay with this? Noniko? Well, Tobioka is your advisor, isn't he? Are you alright with him keeping an eye on you? まあ、ねちねち嫌味言われるかもだけど、耳栓しとけば平気でしょ。Also, <laughs> also no one will see you wearing earplugs. Uh, under your hair, I mean. That's not a problem really, is it? Huh? Again, I looked a little confused. あおいの言いたいことわかるよ。けど、もっと大切なものがあるから、しょうがないよ。what do you mean more important? Eh, <laughs> gotcha. Aru, anata tachi. Akari. Mina se aoi kun to Himegi Ageha san datta wa ne. Hi. Hi. Konnichiwa, Fukukaicho san. Konnichiwa. Buin atsume no massai chu te tokoro kashira. Sono yosu ja, umaku itte nasa so ne. Well, we hit a few rope bumps. The vice president gave me a bitter smile as she made her assumptions. We got that the first time, thank you. As she frankly stated. There must be other clubs that have ghost members, right? Why is it only us? The vice president glares at us as we make our childish protests in vain. But it's an hang. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. It's a hanger. What? What? Ah. It's not a garage. It's a hanger. ロボット部はでっかいガレージ使ってますよ。あそこは部員の数が約60名。全国大会で実績も残しています。それ残したのはマネ先輩なのに。The vice president ignores Agia's grumbling and continues to speak. もしソワリング部がガレージを開け渡せば、例えば。
I don't think the acoustics are really great in there. The photographic club? What the... Yeah, well, I guess they could make a photo studio in there. The film studios, well, that makes sense. The RC club? Uh -huh. Yeah, I could see that going very well if the film club is next to the drum club. Drum club. That won't make any issues on film. So, we came embarrassed about expressing our childish opinions, and the gear and I felt as small as we looked downwards. This She let out a little whew as she sighed. あの、Okay. In other words, you're not making any unreasonable demands. 当然です。私は別にソアリング部を潰したいわけじゃありません。Well, it's good to know that you're kind of on our side, but you don't let it show too much, I guess. But the main isn't trying, Amane isn't trying, I'm so sorry, isn't trying to recruit any members herself. Uh, it is. <laughs>、Come Okay. いいですかちゃんとした部員を見つけること。幽霊部員なんて絶対に認めませんからね。The vice president reminded us as she walked away. Well, you didn't wait for our answer. It's okay for us. 厳しいけどいい人だよね。Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't seem very flexible though. She seems familiar with the students' names and profiles, and it looks like she wouldn't be able to get away with abusing the power that comes with the position. But it's strange, isn't it? What? That even though Ama Ama Amane suddenly left the robot club, she has been continuing with the soaring club for years. Until she became the super repeat student. So, yeah, so that's it. Even so, so, she isn't trying to get any new members. Maybe. The more I know about the situation, the less I understand it. Yep. After school, Agia and I headed to the Soaring Club's garage. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I got the message. After all, we are already members. What for? As she looks at us, Amane bows her head in apology. Cut it out, Amane. You upset Agia. We are not leaving. We are not going forward without a fight. No, we are not leaving. Does that mean you're giving up on the club? Giving up on the club? I wanna give up on the club, on the club, on the club. Amane nods apologetically. Amane, why don't you look for new members yourself? This is not Is that what she really thinks? Is that because you don't want to let anyone to come near to this place? If so, then we... But not touch. Look, but not touch. But how about becoming members? Yeah, that's... 
ここにいられなくなることは分かってるそれはすごく困るでもどうするべきなのか私はまだその回答を見出せていないんだ。We have shown you the answer. a s a k u t o r i will join in the last second. A man I really looked distressed and became despondent. If we ask any more questions at all, we'll be doing this cornering here ever even more. All we'll be doing is cornering here and then even more. Anyway, once you've built the glider, what do you plan on do to do next? We can use the clips, cl clips, cl clips objective as material for a recruit. I, I know talk good, I know speech club. We can use the clips objective as material for our recruitment drive. As far as the quick check that we did goes, apparently there are competitions for gliders too. Okay. So, what are you going to do? Ah. A man gave a smile. It seemed just like she was about to start reminiscing about old times. A place you want to go? Iska ga itte tanda. Glider ga kansei sereba. So k o e ikeru itte. Who's Isuka? Is that a long lost love? Isuka? She said that name before. It will fly to the sky that Asuka spoke of. Looking as if memories had come flooding back, she looked at the photo frame on her desk. The photo frame without a photo. She looked like she had gone into her own little world, and it didn't seem that we could ask her any more questions. So, we are. Yep, we will. To search for people who might join the club. Whatever answer Amane gives,、uh, avoiding having the club status repealed was the top priority. Okay. It was past nine o'clock at night. In the kitchen, I was washing the dishes for five people. In the dormitory, there were six people, including myself, but Katori didn't show up for dinner or help prepare beforehand and was shut away in her room. Just in case, I put her dinner in the fridge. If she gets hungry, she can eat whatever she wants. Maybe she's feeling down. Why does she want to drop out of school? Is it because of what the Gea said? That it was because of the argument she had with the girls in the class? Is it because the lessons are boring? Or could it be something that I didn't know about? It's possible. It could be even something that I'm not, e not even she understands.、Hmm. I, of all people, can't really say anything about other people. I don't think that anyone would understand the real reason why I came back to this town. Well, I. As far as I understand, you came back because. Well, I don't know why you came back here specifically, but you dropped out of your old school because you couldn't race bikes anymore. To be honest, I still haven't really solved things for myself yet. As I began to feel kind of down, I was surprised to hear the sound of footsteps thumping down the hallway. Aoiko! <laughs> Aoi! Kanako? I, about what? W what is it? Couldn't it, could it be that you were attacked by a pirate? <laughs> While I had my back to her, I couldn't stop my eyes from looking around in her direction. Oh. Huh? Someone had taken Kotori's clothes off? No, that can't be it. Wow, you're such an idiot. Okay. Oh, why don't you let her take a bath? In the bathtub? Well, I, hmm? the wheelchair was in the bath's dressing room. 
It was the wheelchair that Katori used when she went in the bathroom. She always used that when she took a shower. I've never seen her do that, of course. <laughs> well, thankfully. She can't get into the bathtub while she's still in the wheelchair. Well, for her to get in the bathtub, she needed someone to help her. Her older sister? According to what I heard, Katori has an older sister. She only gets into the bathtub when she comes here. Anyway, her sister hadn't come around here recently. At least not since I've become the door mother. Okay. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> okay. What? I don't think so. To be quite honest. What? <laughs> uh, this is an all girl storm. There will be one girl that can help her. What? Yeah, my sentiments exactly. <laughs> can I proceed to say I'm not coming with you as she left me by myself? Yeah. Hey, hey, wait. As she left me behind, I turned to face Katori. Alright, shall I help you to get in? She was glaring at me with an angry look on her face. Uh, yeah, but... Hey, hold on. Katori went into the dressing room and closed the door. If she does that, I can't exactly go barging in there all of a sudden. If you have any problems, call me right away, okay? <laughs> she replied in a scary voice. There's nothing else I can do, so I wait outside. I sit down in front of the dressing room door, just like I'm guarding it. This isn't really that important, but to have one guy in dark guys a little in a girl's dormitory makes taking a bath very inconvenient. I do assume so, yes. I'm the only one who has a set time. If I inadvertently run into any of them in here, I can't just get away with an apology. From the bathroom, I could faintly hear the sound of a shower. She must be washing herself off before getting into the bath. Okay, that's news to me. I can hear the sound of the water lightly splashing. I feel kinda nervous. The limited information I get from the sound actually stirs my imagination. You pervert. I am strongly aware of the fact that Kotori is getting into the bath. What am I thinking? If she knew that I was imagining, she'd probably try to tear me limb from limb and as I try to clear the thought from my head, Ah, uh, no. <laughs> huh? I react by getting up, opening the dressing room door and dashing inside. <laughs> Are you okay? I jumped into the bathtub and lift Katori out while she wriggled and struggled with her hands out of the bath. <laughs> hey, snap out of it, Katori. Katori was still panicking and clung desperately as I rescued her, 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 her. You're okay now. <laughs> Katori looked at me. It looked like she didn't know how, who or even what she was clinging to. <laughs> it's alright, everything's fine now. <laughs> Aww. Katori weakly nodded while she's still holding on to me tightly. I continue to hold on to her to calm her down. <sighs> oh. Ah! 
<laughs> the realization hits. Both of us suddenly realized what we have failed to realize before. Well, she got into the bathtub with uh, a towel around her, which is very nice and very, very YouTube friendly. It's the censored version. I'm playing the censored version because I don't want to get my channel cancelled. I'm very sorry about that. Katari was just wearing a towel. Holding her. Um, I'm sorry. For a moment we didn't say anything, but she couldn't exactly kick me out, so we just held onto each other. Uh, um... Katori tries to hide her chest, but squeezes even closer to me. I think by squeezing even closer to me. It's it's okay, I'm not looking. <laughs> Katori goes bright red and looks like she's about to cry. I'll go now, sorry. I was about to put Katori down on the floor. I thought if... I went back to call for Kanako, then everything could be cleared up. He the... What? I'm sorry, what? Squeeze. Um, what am I looking at? Weakly yet desperately, she held onto me. But... Katori's hands were shaking slightly. I remember the time when we first met on Windmill Hill. Okay. I nod and it seems like her shaking has subsided a little. Arigato. Aww. You're not half, less, ha half as heartless as I thought after all. No, I don't. I, I knew she's not heartless. We stayed like this for a while and Kanako poked her head into the bathroom to take a look. Well, this and that. So this is the result of ignoring Kanaka's advice. But if I were to say something like that in front of the tearful shaking Kotori, I would feel really bad for her. It seemed that Kanaka was implying the same thing. Could you get a bath towel? <laughs> then could you cover Kotori up? Why, she is covered up. While well, Kanako put the towel around her, Kotori quietly held onto me. Well, I can only assume the scene had played out very differently in the non-censored version. I, I would assume so. After that, Kotori calmly got into the bath with Kanako. Kanako also made sure not to meddle unnecessarily and was very considerate towards Kotori to help her calm down. While I was doing the dorm mother's jobs in the kitchen, Katori had gotten out of the bath and came to see me. And what she exactly has to say about this happenstances, we will explain or experience in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye. bye.